Okay, uh, so now Jimmy G, I seen and heard the Jacksonville Jaguars fans, mm -hmm. okay? And I want you to put your muffs on you and your kid that you just got back from a three-month vacation mm -hmm. in the woods and mm -hmm. any of your other kid, whatever. They were chanting, you sick fuck, you sick fuck, you sick fuck. And I'm not talking about just like five, six people. I'm talking like there was hundreds of people in the video that I got that was chanting that to Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson didn't go out and have his best performance. It's preseason football. He hasn't played football in years. I'm not sure on the field what we were expecting, but we assumed right. that the appointee from Roger Goodell, after Roger Goodell has said things that we've never heard him say, predatory and all that stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. we assume he's going to be out for an entire year. Is Jimmy G going to Cleveland, or is that not in a conversation? Because we saw Andrew Brandt tweet, if you think Cleveland's just all of a sudden interested in Jimmy G, uh, like almost confusion, but it is different now, right? That Jimmy, that Deshaun's probably out for a year, and Jimmy's still available. Do you think that's going to happen, or what do you think's most likely there? Uh, first on the Deshaun, uh, I heard the chance. you know, this is what, this is what it's going to be like for, uh, for a while for him. It's going to be... You know, going into visiting, I mean, I, we'll see when he ends up playing. If he plays this year, that's what it's going to be like. Uh, opposing fans do not care and do not hold back unless there's some sort of directive from the NFL or from the teams that well, they need to clean it up. Like Then it gets even worse, yeah. right? Then it gets even Pro worse. Probably right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just knowing humans... <laughs> Like, probably right. Yeah. Um, none well, of it I'm was, all out of it. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, I'm sure some. No, I'm not going to say it. All right. I was going to equate. I was going to make some equivalency, but I'm not going to do that. Um, Very nice of you. I guess. Okay, so, good guy. Uh, yeah. First of all, what a hero. I, I don't know if we can assume that Deshaun's going to be a year. We know that Roger Goodell has said very publicly that he believes it should be a year. He called him predatory, as you mentioned. Came out really, really strong. I think a lot of people thought that we might get the ruling before Friday. Um, we didn't. So similar to what we were talking about with Sue Robinson, it seems that Roger Goodell's designee is on his own time frame, maybe to see if the two sides can get together on a settlement. Don't sense one is close, but perhaps at some point, or maybe just because he's not ready. So until and unless that happens, it's still going to be limbo. But to answer your question about Jimmy G and the Browns, I've seen some reports. Um, I just don't get the sense that the Browns are that interested. I just I just don't. I mean, they signed Jacoby Brissett for a reason. Um, if they trade for Jimmy G, it's 20-plus more million dollars. Not they the money's afford. the biggest concern, but, like, I just – I've checked with everyone – Maybe something will surprise me. I just do not get the sense that there's that much interest there. Fascinating. Good for Jacoby Brissett, by the way, who has proven in the past he can play great football. That roster seems to be loaded. Uh, the NFL, yeah. uh, the lawyers that are representing the NFL in this appeal uh, against the NFL PA's lawyer, who, who's the lawyer that's representing Deshaun, the guy that started the union to begin with, right? What's his name? The lawyer? Uh, Jeffrey Kessler is, isn't, that's who you're talking about, right? Yeah, the NFL PA's shows, yes, yeah. Yes. Jeffrey Him Kessler. and Rusty Hardner sort of. Combining, but yes. Okay, so Jeffrey Kessler and Rusty Harden are representing Deshaun Watson for the NFL PA. Who's representing the NFL? Uh, the NFL's, uh, they sort of have retained outside counsel. The name escapes me. Um, but they're under direct initiative from Goodell? Yes. I mean, he is, he is the boss, and they are under, right. But that's, you know, that's one side against the other side. Yeah, but there's no, there's no, then the only, so if they agree upon, uh, like, if the judge that has been appointed, the uh, district attorney, or attorney, what is he? Who is he from Jersey? The guy that's uh, the new judge? Right, the AG from, from Jersey, Harvey, right. Yeah, so he is waiting for a potential settlement between the two, but that would have to be a settlement between basically Roger Goodell and Rusty Harden and Deshaun right. Watson, right? Right, which, so there's sort of two sides of this, right? On one side, a settlement would be the NFL accepting less than a year, right? And it would be Deshaun Watson and his team accepting more than they wanted. Remember, there was, you know, he got six games. I know there were some people that, you know, thought, well, it should be less. Remember, they argued Ooh. initially the PA did, Deshaun Watson's what? lawyer did for a lot less. Oh, Kessler and Russell. So mm -hmm. a settlement, though, would basically end the story. That's the upside for the NFL. They yeah. want him to be suspended a year, but if they get to a settlement... They settle, and that's the end of the story. It's not – whereas, like, if they get a, a ruling from, you know, A.G. Harvey, former A.G. Harvey, then Deshaun Watson probably sues, and then he's out six games anyway. But then, you know, we're still talking about federal court as this kind of goes 
and gets debated at the highest levels, like this is a story for most of the season. That I know is something the NFL does not want. Okay, so very interesting that it seems like all outside parties are the ones handling this for the NFL. Yeah. (laughs) Kessler, Harden, neither of them are in the NFLPA. Mm -hmm. They are lawyers that are representing the NFLPA. The NFL was appointed an outside party to represent them. We got an outside (laughs) judge to do this thing. It's getting appealed, another outside judge to this thing. And then Goodell's just, that's fascinating. That's probably- And and remember, it used to be the opposite. It used to be, they would rule, like it was just Roger Goodell. Yeah. uh, Which I know the union took major issue with and ended up with this mutually agreed upon system yeah mutually agreed upon make sure you hit the talking points Ian. make sure you hit the talking points <laughs> i mean it's a negotiation yeah 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 make sure, just hit them make sure you hit them make sure you hit them i've seen i've heard this from every inside yeah, mutually yeah, agreed yeah. upon mutually agreed upon there's no way this is what the nflpa how did they not have projections that this is exactly us not that this by the way we're not saying that the case that is being chatted about uh shouldn't be the punishment whatever it is not no. saying that we're just talking about sure. the process we're just talking about the process. We're the only ones that are talking about it. The NFLPA took a victory lap whenever Judge Sue Robinson got hired. Mutually appointed, mutually appointed. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> and now it's like, well, actually, Roger Goodell doesn't even have his own lawyers doing it. Yeah. He's, sure, he's telling other people. Still lands on his desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even. It's why. Anyways, let's move on. 